Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Subnautica. Man, I just can't get over how much I love this game. <laughs> Remember guys, if you're enjoying the series, leave a like. The views haven't been great, but we're just kind of taking a look back at this one while we're waiting in between new indie game releases. And I had a lot of fun with that. I played a bit off camera just to gather some more resources. And I know what I want to work on next. So I actually have a, quite a few resources. I, uh... Went and stacked a bunch of these things, so they're all filled up with various things, more copper, titanium. I actually found a pretty decent amount of copper, uh, so I was able to craft a few extra batteries for our sea glide. Like, we have three right there. I have all that stuff. All right, now we need a computer chip for our builder tool, and the builder tool will allow us to actually make habitats in Subnautica now. This thing right here, habitat builder. This is so weird that we just move like this. All right. Uh, the builder is designed to construct habitats with standing extreme environmental conditions. Yep, so we can just whip that out right here. Uh, that's four, I believe. So if we hop outside... Let's see, where do we want to build? These guys always seem to be hanging out right there. Um... Well, we're probably going to build our actual base somewhere further off, but we can just do some sample stuff right now. So if I right-click, we have different things for habitat compartments, power, solar panels, bioreactors, Appliances, aquarium, lockers. That'll be so useful so I won't have to use those stupid floating things. And we can make signs. Uh, but first, let's see. I believe it used to be you need a foundation. I'm pretty sure yeah, build first. Pretty sure you do need to do that to start. Oh, game's lagging a little bit. And as you would expect, the foundation is the foundation of what we're building. So we can take it and just kind of throw it. Be a good spot for it. Let's just put it right there. So we just hold down, left click. Build it up. It just takes a couple pieces of titanium. Real simple, real easy. There you go. And it does add whole strength to whatever you're building. Do we have more titanium on us? I uh, could probably grab some more. Probably need titanium and quartz, I believe. Uh, let's just do a corridor to start. So let's just grab some titanium and I'll probably need quartz as well. Let's grab this, zip on up to the top, and luckily the sun is coming up. Whee! Let's just pop up here real quick because I do have to make some glass. So I have quartz for that. Should be glass right there. And there we go. Probably get a decent few of these. We have a ton of quartz. Quartz is one of the most abundant resources in the game. So let's hop back down, head down to the platform. Let's grab the builder. And we're going to build a corridor. Uh, is that the only place you can build it? No. Let's see. Multi-purpose room. Okay, we could do this. It doesn't center. Oh, that's going to drive me crazy. Oh, you don't even you don't even need the foundation. Oh, oh, but then it'll build into that. Okay, this foundation just allows you to flatten it. Okay, we'll just build that right there. Use a whole bunch of titanium. It's weird that it doesn't take any glass, though, because I'm pretty sure there's glass on the side. Oh, no, it doesn't have glass walls. Okay, uh, so now we do need a hatch to attach this. Attach the hatch. Sure, we can do it right there. Do it at an angle. Why not? And now we should be able to just uh, put that away. And enter the base. And there is no oxygen production, so our oxygen is still going down. Oh, that's new. That wasn't here uh, last time I played this game. So we still have to rely on getting uh, in and out of either the, the oxygen up there or a little buoy. And the question is, how do we start oxygen production? And I started the move. It was over there, but I thought this would be a cool area to do. We could do like a multi-level structure, because they do have uh, vertical connectors and ladders. So I thought that would be a cool little spot to do that. Uh, let's go ahead, pop this. We gotta put a new hatch. Let's see, can you put like a hatch on the top? That'd be cool. Nope, you can only do it on the sides. Okay. And I'm pretty sure to actually produce oxygen, you just need to get power to it. And we do have the blue. Well, we did successfully get the blueprint for the solar panels. Let's see, right there. So we have. Oh, we need more quartz. Okay. Well, that's easy enough. There's quartz everywhere. Whoa, this is cool. So I'm out here looking for quartz. There's these holes in here. These look scary. Some bioluminescent stuff. Ooh, a lot of quartz. Okay. I just gotta keep an eye out for the suicidal fish that freak me out. I really hate them. I think they're called crashes or something? Because they, they give off something called crash powder, which is resources you need to actually build some things. Okay... Uh, those guys are down there. I don't think they're mean. Did see some more quartz. This is the blackness down there is just freaking me out. 
Okay, let's go in. Grab the quartz. Uh, grab some oxygen, why not? Ooh, does it go further? Oh, that's just the exit. Alright, well, that was scary. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, I just... I just don't like deep water. Really, any water. It just freaks me out. Now we can build some solar panels. Let's go put these over here. Do they have to be attached to the ground? Yeah, 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 lady. Cool that- Okay, we can build them just up here. Uh, they have to be closer to the surface to be, get power. Build on the ground in the sun. Charge. Okay. Uh, let's just put this here. We should have enough quartz to build two. Oh my god. I'm a going, I'm a going. The thing is, will they actually stop producing oxygen at night? Well, it makes sense, because I mean, they wouldn't be having power at night. But will they actually stop? Like, will I die at night if I'm trying to be in there? I don't know. Let's go put this back here. Just get two. You know, just in case. We have the resources for it. Try and line those up. It's kind of hard to line things up when you're bobbing around underwater. Close enough. Close enough. There we go. Now we can see if we're actually getting... Hey! Look at that. Wow, we are really heavy-footed. <laughs> kind of tromping around. Awesome. Uh, can we build a window? Oh, no, we need glass. Dang it. How do we build a fabricator? Is that something we can build? Here we go, fabricator. We need wiring kit, computer chip. Okay. Very cool. I really want to build some windows. Let's go get some glass real quick. So I already got a wiring kit. Now we just need a computer chip. And that should be enough for the fabricator. Now let me double check the recipe real quick. Uh, do, do, fabricate. Yep, we got it. Cool. Oh, we can also make an aquarium. Oh, that'd be awesome. Wall locker. Cool. Well, we're definitely going to make a bunch of those. Oh, we actually need to eat. Or not eat. We need to drink. We are going to starve. Or not starve. What is wrong with me? Why can't I use correct words today? I don't know. And I really need to find some air sacs. Because I'm pretty sure that last one that we just used was my last one. They kind of have disappeared from the area. There's some scrap metal over there, so that'll be good. Because right, the only other way we can actually make drinkable water is with bleach. I don't currently have bleach. Radiation detected. Oh yeah, we are right on like the verge of being in radiation from the Aurora. But we should have our radiation suit relatively soon. So we'll be good there. Pop on in. Inventory secured. Okay, let's grab this and let's build... Actually, first I want to build some windows. Oh, this is gonna look so cool! Oh, so awesome! God, so cool! Oh, I built it on the wrong one. I meant to build it on the center one. <laughs> My bad. Uh, I think we do have enough, right? So this one, just keep it even. We can just build the whole thing glass. Come on, do we have enough for one more? No, we don't. Dang it! Okay. Well, screw this. Okay, while we're doing this, we need to get fabricator up. Now, where should we put it? So I don't want to put it there. What if I want to expand at some point? Mm, let's see. What's what's actually outside of here? So that way, that way. Eh, both those should be good. Actually, can we put it in here? Oh, we can. Okay, cool. So we'll just have it right there. Actually, no. I don't want it there. Deconstruct that. Change it. <laughs> Change my mind. Sorry, game. No, not locker. Fabricator. Um, let's see, how big are the wall lockers? Oh, those aren't too big. Okay, cool. So we can just put them on like either side of it. This should work. Uh, we just won't expand that way. Detected. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. <laughs> I see ya. Maybe he's going after the other fish. And yes, I know I have dehydration. I need to find some uh, sack fish, but I can't seem to find any. What is that? So that is like a graphical glitch? Might be. And more radiation. Uh, here's one. I see a punk. Aha. Emergency. Air sac. I, I don't know why I call them sack fish. They're clearly called air sacs. I don't know. Same reason I call those other guys uh, barracudas. It's what they remind me of. Any in here? Anyone want to die just so I can live slightly longer? Oh, barracuda. Speak of the devil. Not actually Barracuda, it's a uh, Stalker, that's right. Look at me remembering things. Ready for these sick moves? Uh, ow, kind of right into the wall. 
Oh well, we got two air sacs, that'll do a tiny bit, and we should be able to use bleach to clean some water out as well. We'll go try that real quick. Let's see, water, we need bleach, how do you make bleach? I don't remember the recipe. Salt and common coral sample. What the heck is that? I thought this stuff isn't now. Oh, is that stuff from this guy? Whoa. Game. There we go, okay. Yeah, so it is from these things. You can just grab common coral samples from there. Easy enough. Salt's pretty, uh, pretty frequent. So now is our power gonna go down? Because it said nighttime approaches. Our power's still holding steady at 100%. So I guess we'll see. Make a little bleach. Mm. I also did get a whole bunch of metal salvages so we can turn those into titanium, which we can use to further expand our base. Okay, got my vital signs stabilized. Fortunately, we did run out of power. Uh, we kind of used it all up. I hate that banging sound it makes when I walk around. It sounds like there's something on the outside trying to get in. It freaks me out a little bit. Alright, so this is cool. I got two little wall lockers up there. Uh, so now we can edit this so I can make this say, like, food... water. And I can make this one say, like, uh... Just like, let's just put, like, metals in here. Metals. Let's learn to spell first. There we go. So now, dang it, so we can open that up. I always click the exact center, and that's the one part you don't want to. Oh, uh, bleach, that's not food and water. These guys are, though. Uh, the bleach can be made into water, so let's actually do that. Oh, we don't have the power. That's right. Open this guy up. Copper, 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 titanium. Gold, silver. Is quartz a metal? Quartz isn't technically a metal, is it? Uh, so let's actually make another one. Oh, we need titanium. Duh. Come here. You can't open this when you're holding it. Oh, you can. Well, that's handy. Let's build some more wall lockers over here. Oh, we can actually fit them right there. Perfect. Squeeze it in right there. And do we have enough for one more? Yes, we do. Awesome. Well, I'm going to get my stuff organized real quick. Because we have all those things in those uh, little floating lockers. Alright, so I got pretty much everything from these containers. Oh, actually, literally everything from these containers. Everything from the buoy up there. We're gonna go drop the rest of these off. I think this would be cool if like, we went over and down or something. Just make the big old base. I don't know how much stuff there is to actually do inside of the base, but it's a decent start. Food, water. I guess we put first aid, nutrient block, those things in there. And for these things, I just decided not to just make a metal, but just like building materials in general. And for this, this is the sea life container. So it's got things like uh, acid mushrooms, the, the, the table coral samples. Flares, I don't even know. Do we need another one just for building material? Oh, we need quartz. It's really no, you can't open it. Oh, you can. Okay, well, I was wrong. Oops, always accidentally doing that. Let's get another one. Wall locker. Actually, we could, we could just do like a regular locker. They're just kind of ugly how they just stand there, though. I think they do have more space in them. Check that out. And it's kind of like far. Actually, that one's actually pretty close to the wall. Hmm. It's closer than I thought I could get it. What is going on there? Let's open this up. And just put the overflow in it. Not super organized now. Once we have like more rooms and stuff, I'll make individual ones and label them. Is that one labeled? What's that say on it? Oh, I think it's just like a symbol or something. Uh, let's get some more. Oh, one more window. Two more glass. Can I just put glass in here? No, I always hit escape. Just gotta hit tab. It's not that hard. Come on, Z-Dop. Get it together. Um, where's that going? We'll just take quartz. Quartz! Boop -ba -do -ba -boop -boo. Glass. And glass. And then we can build another window. There we go. Looking pretty good. Awesome. Looking very awesome. Let's see what else is there. It's corridors. Reinforcement. Why well, wouldn't do that? Bulkhead. X corridor. Hmm. There are different things you can make. Like there's a there's a there's a base. There's like a piece of the base that's uh you can actually go in and land your not the Cyclops, what is the other small submersible called? Uh, I can't remember the name. Appliances Medical Kit Fabricator. Fabricates a medical every 30 minutes. Oh, that's super handy. What is that thing called? 
Uh, we're probably gonna have to find the pieces. Hmm, but I really want to get the radiation suit. That'd be good. Uh, there's also a compass you can build. This allows you to get directions. Rebreather, dive reel, bio reactor. I can't remember the name of the little submarine, but again, there's probably fragment pieces we have to analyze. And one more thing, I wanted to try real quick. Large aquarium. Now, how large is a large aquarium? That's what I want to know. Oh, the game did not like that. Okay. Um, that's pretty large. I feel like I would make it a little bit cramped in here. <laughs> uh, maybe we should start with a smaller aquarium. Uh, da -da -da, appliances, aquarium, there we go. Self-sustaining aquatic habitat. Then we can go grab some fish, chuck them in there. Oh, that's a nice size. That'll go well. Let's see, can I like put this right there? Should be nice and lined up. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, let's go grab a fish. Try and chuck one in there. <laughs> so I went and I grabbed myself a Gary fish. This will be our friend Gary. He'll live in our aquarium. Come on, Gary. It's time to go to your new home. I know you have this giant ocean to explore and everything, but I'm going to keep in here. But the good news is I'm probably not going to eat you, so, you know. That sounds pretty good. There you go. Yay! <laughs> Gary, welcome to the, the fun house. Welcome to the... Uh, I don't know. I need I need a new base for this, or a new I need a good name for this base. If you guys have any suggestions for the name, let me know. I'll leave a like if you did enjoy, and want to see more Subnautica in the future. I'll see you next time. Bye.